Well, hello, where have I been? I've been serving you guys. I've been getting some qualifications that is gonna make me become a better weight loss coach per se, considering I made this transformation, since I have the power of understanding fasting and the power of understanding metabolic diets such as keto, OMAD, and what have you. I think combining this with the skill of becoming a personal trainer is going to be epic. And I'm not just becoming a personal trainer. I'm not, I didn't just do some course online, did it once, and then I'm certified. No, the organization that I'm becoming certified with requires me to certify yearly. And on top of that, I need to be taking courses throughout the year to better myself because we are learning more and more about fitness. We're learning more about more about weight loss and it requires constant knowledge. So I'm super excited about that. So I am now transitioning my entire career to helping people transform their lives, whether that be through weight loss, which is what I want my specialty to be through improving their quality of life, which is also something that's near and dear to my heart. So when I say improve the quality of their life, meaning that reducing pain, maybe they're having knee pain, back pain, lack of energy levels, or what have you, they're injured, injury recovery, because I know about that, you know, that's how I'm here. I got injured from a car accident. I've rehabbed multiple limbs that took me nearly two years to do. And I made a weight loss transformation in the midst of that. So I know injuries can be hard on people and it's why a lot of people end up gaining weight. Maybe they got injured at work or God forbid they got into a car accident or something happened to them. And another way I want to help people is perform better as athletes. Of course, that's going to be key for me because I do plan on becoming an athlete. Once I do bodybuilding, I'm looking at some other stuff. I kind of got interested in CrossFit because I know the power of healing your joints and I know the power of exercising correctly, finally. Now what people don't realize, because I had this mindset when it came to personal training that when you find a good personal trainer and you work with them and you can do this work with them online if they know how to properly train you online the key to training people online is that you need to look at their form you need to look at how they're performing the exercise that is so key you can't just give people exercises you need to learn how to assess people as well before you just throw exercises at them this is something i'm learning myself through everything i'm learning through the organization i'm working with or being certified with so there's i'm learning a lot because again i want to help you guys as best as i can i want to help you guys because i can't be everywhere at once but if i can have you know, a good group of online clients that I can coach and I could really be in one on one with you and see how you're moving. Oh my God, it's gold. Because I realize a lot of people, even people who have been working out for years, may have great bodies or not, are not correctly performing exercises. And that all comes down to core stability. And I was slash am still one of them. I'm still working on my core stability. Seeing people squat heavy amounts of weight and them getting injuries. I remember hearing Laura Lee Chapatos talk about how she would always get back pain when she would do an RDL. And I'm learning all this stuff and it's like, it's about bracing the core and all of that. Now, it's gonna be hard to uniformly explain this to everyone, like universally. I need to see people one-on-one, -on -one, but I can try my best through videos. But that's what I've been up to. I've been focusing on getting my personal certification and I've been pers uh, focusing, personally, <laughs> focusing on transitioning into a career where I can do this full time and you guys will not be left behind because part of this career is going to involve me having an online client base, basically starting my own business as a personal trainer who is going to help people lose weight making exercise programs that are important to weight loss. But number one thing when it comes to weight loss, and again, when I get certification with my personal training, I'm also going to be doing a lot of nutrition courses throughout the year. You know, I'm not going to say not that I need it, but it's helpful to learn. I don't think there's going to be any courses on fasting. That's something I figured out myself through my OMAD transformation and through fasting in general. So that's a knowledge piece that I'm going to have that a lot of people won't have. I think eventually it will become a thing. 
I think people are gonna realize the power of fasting and like, oh my God, you have an eat or you, no, no, eating too much is what's getting people cuckoo, okay? It's getting people to gain weight. Eating too much is what what's making people lose it like crazy, literally it is. Like the insulin spikes, the insulin spikes with constant eating is causing people to go mad. And the reason why the insulin spikes are happening is because of the processed garbage. Now, if we were constantly eating foods that were whole foods and nature foods, like foods out in nature, I just watched a video with Mr. Beast and he was on an island with his friends. They were eating like coconut water and stuff. <laughs> like that stuff is like, has fiber and stuff in it. Like that's kind of different. Well, maybe not the coconut water itself, but it came from a coconut. You know what I'm saying? That's rehydration, electrolytes, but like, the foods that we're eating is making people go mad. So um, I got that knowledge and eventually the rest of the world will catch up and I'm sure there will be courses and all of that. So that's where I've been. I've been focusing on that and I've been working out through the whole thing. Trust me, I am working with a personal trainer and I will continue working with a personal trainer. What people don't understand, just because you're a personal trainer doesn't mean you won't need one. There's a reason why NFL athletes, the best athletes in the world have coaches have a strength and conditioning coach have a coach for agility or what have you there is a reason why bodybuilders have coaches julia renee is a perfect example she um i love her by the way she hired a personal trainer on top of her bodybuilding coach to have the personal trainer push her at the gym because it's better to have a trainer watch you with your movements because what people understand, when you perform a movement properly, you get way more out of the exercise. You recruit way more muscle fibers. And when you recruit way more muscle fibers, you're gonna build that muscle and that strength. A personal trainer has been pivotal on my journey with healing my body. And I was talking to someone about this because they had injuries as well. And he told me this, and I believe this, it's true. If you're injured, a physio will only get you 70% of the way but they won't forever eliminate your pain. I've been talking to someone else about this. They've been seeing a physio for years and they've just been depending on a physio and they're not healed. A good physio will want to make you be independent. And I think a good physio is a physio that one that works with a personal trainer in tandem because it's the exercises structured in a way that a personal trainer can do with the physio work. I'm not bashing physios. Physios are very important. They've been pivotal on my journey and help bring down the inflammation. But physios can give you exercises. Great. You do the physio exercises and then you get to a point where you're 70%. That's where the personal trainer comes in. I wish I had a personal trainer earlier on in my journey because I probably would have been healed a lot faster with all the pain I've been dealing with. So there's power in having a personal trainer. And I will always have one because I'm going to be a bodybuilder and then I'm going to transition probably again. I'm an athlete at heart. I'm looking at CrossFit. I'm also looking at uh, running a marathon, triathlon, all that stuff. I'm always going to have a coach because they're going to be able to see me. They're able to see my imbalances, help me prevent injury. They're going to see how I'm moving one day versus another. So I think it's valuable to invest in one, um, especially one that knows what they're doing. And I don't believe personal trainers want to keep people fat. I saw a video on that. That's not true. You need a personal trainer that has a specialty in understanding obesity. That's me. I'm getting there and I'm learning more and more as we get there. So anyway, that's what's been my focus. Sorry I went MIA, I'm still here. I appreciate all the birthday love. I've still been doing my sets. I have not been perfect, but I've been consistent. I've been going to the gym. I killed myself two days ago because I create a workout program for myself <laughs> and my trainer made me do the workout program <laughs> and it was hard and I'm like oh my god I can't do those style workouts yet because I'm still working on my joint stability and stuff still healing my hips and my my shoulders and movement patterns from the car accident but damn oh it's gonna be exciting to work with my first client and my first couple of clients for sure, because now I know how to structure a program. And don't worry, there will be an online portion of this. But anyway, that's where I've been. I'm sorry for the delay, I'm still here. I'm hoping to do a live stream tomorrow, but I've been filming a bunch of videos today, sitting on this couch, changing my outfits, and I hope you guys are doing well. So this was a quick little catch up. Send you guys mad love, I'll see you guys later, bye.